Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about atomic spectra. Um, and spectra is just the plural of spectrum. Spectrums isn't a word. Uh, so uh, what we're going to look at today is basically ha the light that is either emitted by or absorbed by um, atoms and how we can take a look at that or use that light to identify what it is. So for example, here we have um, a sample of hydrogen atoms. If you run it through a prism, it separates out and you get four distinct lines, which we will look at in the lab. All right, so first let's talk about um, absorption versus emission. So if a an electron, this is what we're talking about, electrons moving up and down into different energy levels, um, if it is absorbing energy, it's gonna move from low potential energy to high potential energy. So absorption is low to high. And so that means if we had an electron down here in the first energy level, that's called the ground state or the lowest where it can be. Um, and it, it is hit with either light or heat or electricity, um, then it can move up to a higher energy level because it absorbs light. So moving from low to high is absorption, okay? Emission is the opposite. It is when something has the electron has been excited into a higher energy level and it drops back down to a lower potential energy and then that energy, that extra energy, has to go somewhere. So if we think about our, our um, ball example, right, if we have the ball high in the air, it has a high potential energy and then as we drop it, that energy is converted into kinetic energy um, in terms of movement. So in our case, it's not um, kinetic energy of the movement of the ball, it's um, energy that comes out in the form of light. So in this example here, we have a transition from four to one that releases light. We have one from three to one that releases light and from two to one that releases light. And all of these are examples of emission, all right? If it was absorption, the arrows would have to be going up, okay? And you can also see that we go from, this is a lot of energy, this is a little bit less, and this is even less. And so we go from blue to green to red, um, which would be high energy down to lower energy. Because remember, we talked about um, the red light is going to be the lower energy end of the visible spectrum. All right, so we're going to look at this in two different ways in the lab. Um, the first is the flame lab, which you may have done um, previously in PEAS, depending on who your teacher was. Um, <clears throat> so in this lab, we take a small amount of ions of different metals. Um, so here are a few examples. And when you put a little bit of that ion into the flame, you get a color change. And the reason that happens is because you have electrons in your atom, all right? This is the Bohr model that we looked at before. And an electron can move from a lower energy level up to a higher energy level, usually indicated by an arrow going away from the nucleus, which is here, all right? And um, that happens because it's absorbing energy, in this case, from the heat of the flame. Right, um, And then, just like if we throw the ball up in the air, it has higher potential energy, but it's going to inevitably move back down to lower potential energy. And so when that happens, we now have an arrow going back toward the nucleus because that's where the potential energy is lower, um, and we release light, okay? And so the colors of light that we see are going to be um, a result of the differences in energy between the different energy levels in that particular atom. So um, we also are going to look at this using discharge lamps. Um, so these are um, glass tubes that are filled with a gas um, from a particular element, or it could be a molecule or, um, you, you know, a, a compound, um, as long as it's a gas. And so the gas is in there, and we um, put it into a machine that puts electricity through there. And so that, again, that's another way to give energy to the atoms. And so the same thing will happen. But in this case, we're looking at it because of electricity, not because of heat from the flame. So we move that up, all right? And then um, as it, you know, as, as things do, moves back to lower potential energy, you'll get release of light, okay? Um, so we're gonna take a look at this in the lab and hopefully that will help cement it. And then also with a simulation so that you can see the electrons actually moving up and down into different energy levels in um, the atom.